On the tee from New Zealand, Ryan Fox. Absolutely flying this season. He says he's not really quite sure why. I guess it's uh, something to do with the lack of lockdown restrictions, all the troubles he had heading back to New Zealand. The family are over in Europe now, so he's feeling a lot more comfortable and happier. Big drive, 143. So Gatwich just muscling his way around. Birdie machine. Well, he's got a club face up. He's got a great lie. He landed it just on the fringe. A delicate little touch, and that's really well played. Yeah, that was a bit good, wasn't it? Ryan Fox, bunker's not in play. He'll be whipping it over that by 50. Let me tell you, this is a different game. Watch this move. Bosh! No, you didn't come. Yep. Yeah, I'm with you on that, Wally. He's going to have more spin on this, isn't he? Yeah, that's clipped the tree. This needs to get a wriggle on. One player is number, right? Yeah. Well, he can breathe again now, can't he? At the moment, no storms. Here's Ryan Fox, his third at the fourth. Neat and tidy, and that should be good enough for his four. Hey, oh, here we go, Foxy. Full rip. All right. Oh. Oh. Get lucky. I've had a look. I'm there. Good lie, actually. He's got no green to play with, but he's clattered into the trees that are over there. The ditch there as well. So pretty lucky, really, Ryan here. Got to be looking ten foot past it. You're pitching into an upslope if you can be brave. But with the helping breeze, this is quite nasty to get close. <laughs> Need 100 balls to get closer than that. Yeah, great result that, wasn't it? Again, it was one that he had to land on a on a dime there in the fringe, and he did it. <laughs> Is that where you're going? Oh, so so he's now half Italian, being the Italians one. I'm half Italian, half Irish. That's my that's my split nature. So you were pulling for the blue then. going to remark his ball there's a gadget that he's got it clips over the ball and there's a slot that you can put the perfect line on with your your sharpie it's almost like there's a start line there look at a horse race two bunkers down the right on this par five there to be avoided oh, look at that <laughs> my friends that is the ultimate driving machine look at it magnificent yeah, it's like Rob Lee in his heyday. One ninety-two trees in play a little, so a little bit harder for Fox. But this looks mighty fine. Easy hole, isn't it? Really. I mean, you're right about the Peter shot. When I stood in that fairway and hit something that was going vaguely towards the green and it was going to be dry, I was delighted. Inside left is a great chance. Straight up the hill for Fox. This has got three written all over it. Sure has. Well called, a Walt. Sure has. It just seems that every time he tees it up, he goes out and he expects to be under par. And pretty much he is. Good hold the par three. New greens in 2019. This is definitely a, a green that's been stretched. 218 today. A narrow target. Ryan Fox. That's a heavy hit with an iron out. Such a heavy hit. What a thump into the back of the ball that was. It's so late. Cupped wrist because he's got a very strong wrist and he's very much under. And he's just fighting as hard as he can to hold it off. So, so life for Ryan Fox. He's been on the upslope, which is going to help him try and loft this pitch on top. A little bit left to right once he hits the deck. He does have a good touch, I have to say. Very easy, doesn't it? 
just keeps the flow perfectly when he's chipping. It doesn't. It's not slow to quick or quick to slow. It just is. It's a match speed, and it's beautiful. Very casually hold, wasn't it, by Ryan Fox, and he gets to double figures. Just middle of the green, really here for Fox. Be good, please. Oh, he's hit a lot of good shots over the last few weeks that have been very good. And there's another one, oh. beauty. Yeah, really tough hole. And after the brilliant second shot for Fox, shouldn't be any problem for him to make his birdie. A well played hole. There won't be too many groups play that in two under par between the three players. Back to back birdies for Ryan Fox and. Well, he's looking dangerous again, isn't he? Just got a guard against running out left here. Well, he's taken it right over the corner of the lake. We saw the the marker there at 290 on the graphic, and that's just never even looked at the water, has it? That's a perfect tee shot and huge. And 207, as I say, is definitely heavier out here. Ryan Fox, I think it's playing probably a club more this afternoon, late evening. Different day to a few hours ago. That would have been good to yesterday's pin. Yeah, lovely birdie too from Ryan Fox. That takes him now alongside Dan Housing in second place, three shots behind. Little fady one, really, Ryan Fox. That's the play. Quite a big target. He's like a golfing gorilla in a way, isn't he? I think he's like golfzilla. It's it's just it's absurd how strong he is, and the position he gets in before impact, and then he's also incredibly agile to get the body spin that he gets. He to pick a shape. Doesn't seem to bother this group, does it? Yeah. wind dies down where I live this time of the day as Fox putts for birdie. Sun oh, nice one for Ryan Fox. Gets it to 13 under par. Yeah, the sun goes down over the mountain dusk. Oh, it's beautiful. Fox ready to go now. He is looking right. <laughs> well, that got to say is super unlucky in a way it, it's it's thick just there and it's wet now as well and you couldn't quite go through it, it had plenty of pace so in the rough it's it's it's, it's difficult to really gauge how far you're going to hit it it's probably about 18 degrees same sort of play for ryan fox layup it's nice to see the bunker in the middle of the fairway some go long some go short you know we you see it one yeah, yeah, different yeah, strategies, and that's what's good about <laughs> short par fours, isn't it? We always enjoy it. <laughs> Seems to take half the amount of time of his playing partners, Ryan Fox. He's just straight in there. So refreshing. Perfect partner, isn't he? Gets on with it. Yeah, Ooh, nice one. That was high. Yeah. Well, that's a sensational tee shot. <laughs> just, just the 217. What a difference. 320 odd off the tee, all carry, late in the day. Big target from here. That's amazing golf, isn't it? I'm going to yeah. say that was a six iron, I think, 218 for him. Probably, yeah, not far, yeah. Birdie at the last for Ryan Fox, so he gets in at 14 under, one behind How Tong Lee. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.